How has a simple genetic test turned into one of the most important national security infrastructures in the world? This question is the starting point of a case that has grown quietly yet steadily. DNA banks. According to official data, by 2025, more than 1 billion human genetic profiles have been stored across various databases. Alongside oil and financial data, this information is now considered one of the most valuable strategic assets. New technologies such as CRISPR and biological AI models have transformed the landscape. According to Rand, in one experiment, an AI model designed for drug development was able, with a simple change of instruction, to generate nearly 40,000 toxic molecules in less than six hours. For example, compounds resembling the nerve agent VX and brand new molecules whose predicted toxicity was higher than known samples. These findings show that the distance between genetic data and a biological agent can shrink to just a few days. But the threat is not limited to pathogen design. An even more critical area is data security. In 2023 alone, the data of more than 7 million users of genetic testing service was stolen in a cyber attack. DNA banks are now part of attack war surface in cyber warfare. If infiltrated, these banks can become the basis for psychological operations, social disruption, and even hybrid warfare without a single shot being fired. It may sound unbelievable, but biological weapons programs have existed since the Korean War era. Documents examined in the book The United States and Biological Warfare show that from the 1940s to early 1950s, the United States conducted dozens of biological field tests at sites such as Dogway and Horn Island and had completed operational capabilities for aerosol biological weapons even before the Korean War. From 1951 to 1953, the operational structures of the U.S. Air Force and Army chemical units were reported as ready for use in biological attacks. Actual U.S. use of these weapons in the Korean War remains disputed. However, these documents show that the American biological program constituted a full military capability. And now, with modern technology, these genetic databases can theoretically calibrate disease severity based on the genetic patterns of specific groups. Which brings us to the final question. The data we collect today through a simple test, in what battlefields will it be used tomorrow?